everyone, I'm Natalie Diver and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to gain followers on Instagram and how to make money using Instagram. So I run my businesses solely through Instagram. That is how I do all my marketing and promotion and that is how I monetize them. But there are a number of different ways of monetizing Instagram. So when I first knew I want to launch a business, um, I was actually in a product development stage for a year. And so I thought to myself, what can I do in this one year um, that I can that I can use to get my business ready for when my product is actually ready? Because it, it wasn't taking a lot of time. It was just constantly back and forward. So I felt like I was at a point where there was more that I could be doing. And so what I did for an entire year is researched Instagram. I researched every single bit of Instagram. I watched every video. I took every course. I read every article. I wanted to fully understand how Instagram worked. And I want to know how these brands had created such huge accounts and were using them to make a lot of revenue. Because Instagram has a lot of traffic and you can use this um, to your advantage and you can actually grow an account in a very small period of time. So this video is going to touch upon what I talk about in the Instagram Academy, which is a full way of growing and monetizing your Instagram account. But if you follow these tips on this video, it should help you get to your first 10,000 and then you can take it from there. So first things first, a lot of people forget to connect their Instagram to their Facebook, okay? So firstly, do this and follow all of your Facebook friends in bulk. If you have say a thousand friends, they're likely to follow you back instantly. You have quite a, a high number of followers and you're going to be getting a lot of interaction because you know these people. But don't forget to keep reconnecting it because as your Facebook network grows, you can keep reconnecting it to your, um, your Facebook account. And so it will give anyone that hasn't followed you a gentle reminder to go on Instagram and follow you. So first things first, make sure you connect your Facebook. The other tip is to make sure that you are tweeting links to your Instagram account. So Twitter actually has one of the highest click-through rates naturally um, of all social channels. So if you paste your Instagram there with um, an image and if you let people know you're going to follow them back, chances are you're going to get a lot of click-throughs from there because people are always trying to grow their accounts and they love the idea of follow back. So if you do it to an audience that is your demographic and you're not just gaining followers for the sake of it, um, just tweet it and you're going to get some traction, some traffic from that. A great idea for, um, for gaining followers, especially in a niche group, is to use Facebook groups. So when I talk about niche, um, this is very, very important when you go to monetize because if you don't really have a defined niche or you don't really know who your audience are, you're going to find it very difficult to monetize and I'm going to come on to that um, a bit later. But working in a niche is very, very, very important. And so if you can find some Facebook groups that are in this niche, join them go on there and suggest a follow train. So a follow train is where you post your account and other people post their accounts below and you all follow each other. And so if there are thousands of people in these Facebook groups, you're going to get a lot of followers from a follow train. And you can take this even further by organizing a loop giveaway with them. A loop giveaway can get you between four and 8,000. Um, you can also take this step further by starting a loop giveaway with this niche. The loop giveaway can get you anything between 400 and 1,000 followers in just one day. So they are very valuable and again, they're within your niche. So go into the Facebook group, post an image of your Instagram account or something relevant to the niche that's going to catch everyone's attention and just suggest a follow train. Just let them know, okay, if you follow me, I'm going to follow you back. For every person that posts here, make sure you follow me, I'm going to follow you back. We're all going, we're all going to get followers um, and it's going to benefit us all. Loop giveaways are really beneficial and they can get you a lot of followers, but it's really important to do this within your niche. So if you are doing, say, a loop giveaway with 10 accounts in 10 different niches, the audience that you gain from that is going to be very, very varied and they're all going to have different interests. This is going to be a problem when you come to monetization. If you kind of just want an account with follower numbers, then fine, this is a good way to do it. But just remember that if you want to make money via Instagram, 100 very targeted followers are much better than 100,000 non-targeted followers. Another great way to get followers on Instagram and to get interaction from followers within your niche, I know I keep saying niche, but it really is important, so please remember that. A really good way to do this is to look at your competitors. So make a list of your biggest competitors and start to look through their audience. Start to understand who their audience are. 
what hashtags are they using? Where are they geotagging? Um, all of these different things will help you put together a customer profile. And so when you're using hashtags, you're going to be attracting the users that you want on your account. Because if you're using hashtags that other brands similar to you are using, perhaps you're only reaching brands and you're not reaching customers. So this can be, um, this has came a few times with people who are in network marketing. They come to me and they say, okay, I'm a boss babe. Um, I'm in network marketing. I'm going to hashtag network marketing. Well, if you're trying to attract someone to join your team, they're not going to be looking at network marketing because they don't know yet that they want to join. They're going to be looking at different hashtags. The only people that are going to be looking at, say, network marketing hashtag are other people working in network marketing and you're not going to recruit them because they're already doing what you're doing. So there's a very, very big difference between um, using hashtags as a brand and using hashtags to find customers. So do a lot of research and use your competitors for this. Another way that you can use your competitors is to go through their audience list, go through their follower numbers and interact with their followers. So I always say you should interact in with three, two, one. So that means three comments, two likes, and then the one follow. So go on your competitor's Instagram, look at their followers, click on someone. If they look like someone that would really enjoy your page and your brand, then comment on three of their pictures, like a couple of their pictures and make sure you follow them. Chances are you're gonna really pop up in their feed, they're gonna check out your page and if it's a good fit, they're going to follow you. So if you can spend 15, 30 minutes a day doing this, you're gonna be driving so much targeted niche traffic to your page and you're really gonna build up a strong audience. And the thing is, if you have interacted with your followers in the past, they're a lot more likely to interact with you. So that is a really, really good way of getting followers to your page and you have to be consistent with this. So what I recommend is setting aside time um, every day to go through and do this. Another way to grow your account is post images that inspire people to tag their friends because someone's friends is more likely to be in your demographic than someone random. So the benefit of using an image that one of your followers is going to tag their friend in is not only is their friend going to see this, their friend is going to trust their friend's recommendation. So it's not just like randomly putting your profile out there, your profile is almost being suggested to someone in your niche and there's a lot of social proof behind this because I know if my friend says to me, oh, I'm following this page, I really like it, I'm a lot more likely to follow it than me just uh, hearing or seeing that they've, um, they've been liking, commenting on my pictures. So again, this social proof can be used in a lot of ways on Instagram, but this is one way in particular. So, you know, for instance, you can post an image and say, tag someone who inspires you, tag someone who has made your day, just all of these little things that encourage interaction and if it's something positive like this if all someone has to do is comment on your picture and then they've made someone feel good for that they're very likely to interact with your image and then this goes a step further because all of this interaction on your profile is going to push your profile up in the algorithm so this image is then going to be seen by an even wider audience than it would have been previously and so even more people are gonna see it and even more people are gonna interact with you and follow you. So it's all about using the algorithm to your advantage and just thinking about how this image is gonna position you, how this image is gonna help you to reach other followers and how this image is gonna look in your feed. Another great way of gaining followers on your Instagram account is using hashtags. Of course, you already know this, but there is a little trick to it. So you can use up to 30 hashtags. I would always recommend you use 30, you know, don't waste that. If you can use 30, use it. You can hide them in your profile, um, on your image, by posting them in the comments below rather than on the actual caption. When you post them on the caption, it can look a bit spammy and it kind of makes the whole image less appealing. So what you can do is post them in a the comment box below. And if you write them out in your notes previously, you can put a few bullet points on top then you can post it um, under your image. No one's gonna see it and you're getting your full 30 hashtags in there. Then it's really important to think about your hashtags and the audience that are looking at them. So what I recommend is that you look in your niche and see what hashtags being used, but not just the tag, look at the number of times it's been used. So you want to be using hashtags with varied engagement. You wanna be doing this for a few different ways and I'm gonna try my best to explain it. So if you use a tag with 30,000 posts and you get a few likes, your post is very likely to go in the top posts for that hashtag because you only need say 20 likes to hit top post. 
Then if you look at a hashtag with say 70,000 posts, you're gonna need a few more likes and comments on your picture to make it into the top posts. Now, the reason it's important to make it into the top posts is because if someone is searching for fitness and you're on the top posts, that's gonna, you're gonna be seen straight away. And if you get to feature in this top post, you're gonna notice your follower numbers, your engagement, everything is gonna shoot through the roof within 24 hours and your account will become supercharged overnight. But finding how to get into these hashtags in the top posts is very difficult. So again, varied engagement. So start with 30,000, build it to say 50,000, 80,000, a million, 2 million, 5 million, and that's all within that one post. So you start at the beginning with the hashtags of lower and you build them all the way up. So hashtag number one is say gonna have 30,000 uh, 30, posts. Hashtag number 30 is gonna have say 10 million posts. And so once you've posted the image, give it a few hours and then you go back to the image and you start clicking every single hashtag. And you're going to notice you've made top posts for some, some hashtags and you're gonna notice you didn't make top posts for other hashtags. And the reason you won't make the top posts is because you haven't got high enough engagement to get yourself there. There will be accounts with much bigger engagement than yours that are pushing you out of the top. So you need to find that spot, you know? So if you're in the top posts for all hashtags up to say 1.5 million, but you can't make top posts after 1.5 million, then your spot is gonna be that 1.5 million mark. And so going forward, what you can do is post 30 hashtags between say one and two million. And this means you're gonna be in the top posts for really, really well searched um, and high traffic hashtags and you're not going to be wasting hashtags that you're not making top posts for. So it's very important that you're strategic with this and you review it. Um, it is a very analytical process. Instagram isn't something that just happens overnight, but if you really do think about these little things, there are ways to make your account grow like crazy overnight. So this leads me on to how to monetize your Instagram. Now there are a number of ways that you can monetize your Instagram and I've actually done a full video on monetization alone. So this, this video will help you if you're a brand. Um, so I've linked it below, but I'm gonna give you a few tips now also. So if you are working in a very specific niche and you've grown a page on a, in a specific niche or you're trying to, this holds so much value because if you have trust with your audience that you know about this particular industry, that gives you a lot of buying power. So if you're wondering what buying power is, it's why Kylie Jenner is so much of a savvy businesswoman because she has so much buying power because people trust her. So, you know, when she tells you a lipstick is good, obviously she's very well known for her lips. You believe her and you're probably going to go and buy it. So when she launched her own business in lip kits, everyone rushed out to buy it. It was selling out within minutes and that is buying power. So if you have a strong niche and you have a lot of trust, you're going to have buying power. And this gives you a lot of scope to make money on Instagram. So you can do this in a number of ways with a niche page. You can work with brands who are trying to get into the audience that you have and they'll sponsor posts. They will pay you to post their page on your page. Um, they'll pay you for shout outs. There's a lot of different ways that you can work with brands. But if you're in a niche, it doesn't quite matter how many followers you've got. It matters how much your followers trust what you're saying and how much they engage with what you're saying. Another way that you can make money um, with a niche page on Instagram is by selling a product or working as an affiliate um, for that specific demographic. So, you know, you can release an e-product. It can be a physical product. Um, there's a lot of e-books floating around. There are a lot of e-courses. If this course or ebook is specifically tailored to your niche and you put this in your bio, you put the link to that product in your bio and then you promote it as you go along with your account, you're going to be driving traffic to your site without even trying. You know, people are going to be coming on your page, you've been interacting with them, you've been using the hashtags. People are going to come on your page because they're intrigued to see what you're doing. They're going to click on the link and they're going to convert as long as the page that you're directing them to has a lot of similarities to your Instagram page, as long as it's a very, very defined niche, and as long as you've shown authority in that niche. So these are just a few ways that you can grow your followers using... So these are just a few ways that you can grow your followers on Instagram and start to monetize your account. Um, if you want to find out more about monetization, I've actually done a video on that alone. There's so many different ways of doing it. I really want to put some time into explaining them. So I've linked that below. 
If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And leave me a comment below with any tips that you found out or any questions that you have because I'd love to answer them. And if you'd like to find out more about the Instagram Academy, I'll also leave a link for that below. Bye!